Hi, Ames here. So, since the last episode, I have looked up Life is Strange, and it is a lot longer than I anticipated, but that's okay. Just means that this is going to be a bit of a, a journey, possibly going to become a 20-part series, something like that. Um, but I'm ready, and I'm excited. And the last we left off, Max was trying to get to her dorm to get a flash, a flash drive from her bedroom and the mean girls wouldn't let her get into the dorm and I had to pull a prank, so to speak, on them to get them to move, which I did. And I am now in my dorm, so here we go. Oh, let's turn this up a little bit. Okay, let's see where that flash drive might be. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I can take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victoria and Five. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Well, that's a lot of pictures. Well, I guess that makes sense. She is in school for photography, so there's that. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Oh. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. I need to take a photo, apparently. Oh, journal. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, my God, an achievement for that. Nice. Lie down. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it's gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. <laughs> or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Oh no, that's not going to be the ending, is it? This whole thing has just been like some big dream the whole time. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. I look so pathetic. Oh, right. I remember this. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage <laughs> beauties. Camera porn. Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you mess 
messages of gratitude. I also have a rather electric, electric, yeah, electric collection of TV cult classic and effed up films on a... Uh, We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. A fa oh, fat, like, that's so fat. Fat flash drive, if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I am a scientist more than an artist. <laughs> Now you can quickly explain to me how a camera works. Be seeing you, Warren G. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. Sticky notes. Looks like Dana left me a little closer now. Hey, girl. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in, in my room. Kiss, hug, kiss, hug, D. Okay. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Great. And who was staying again? Shows you how much I really pay attention, but I'm sure it's all good. Alright. Let's go. You can't get out now, Nina. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Okay. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> She's your friend. What did she do? What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, let's go with... Gonna guess. Olsen? Juliet... Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max. Like we have to rewind here. By the way, Juliet Watson. That was my other guess. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you like, even asking? I asked what she you did again talk. because just, just saying her first and last name you. be nice. I feel like that would be weird. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. <laughs> so, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Yeah, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet okay. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Okay. So. Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. I'm 
am not letting her out until she tells the truth. Okay. Leave me alone now. Get a clue. I am not letting her out until she tells the truth. I don't know. Be alert on campus. That's not helpful right now. Oh. Victoria's room. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Uh, how? <laughs> Victoria Chase to Taylor Christensen. Taylor is so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Julia that I saw a, nas a nasty sext from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumb as <laughs> dumbass uh, believed dumbass believe me and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon <laughs> Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me as for Dana who gives a poop <laughs> uh Get out your popcorn. Alrighty. Wait, where did that pen? Where did the oh this better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Not she's gonna be like, what are you doing in my room? Juliet, read this. Friends Free. again. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. On my desk. Okay. <laughs> I just couldn't remember what she said there for a second. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay. No, why would I use her computer? It should go to mine, right? Yeah. I look 
looks so pathetic. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, wrong button. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Some work, incredible film library, greatest TV shows ever. Randoms not downloaded. Party buster. Okay. Oh, uh, that's all I was supposed to do. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club, they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I got an email or a text. Right, I remember. Okay. I thought that was Warren, not Zachary. Oh no. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That was a bruise. Can't go up there, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, I own a dog and he's getting very barky. Oh. Oh, that's Victoria. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. 
Oh, I missed one from Mom. Oh, it's my birthday. Those are the consequences they're talking about. What is this? Oh, nothing. Ah, yeah, I got meat. Lauren. Oh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Um, interview. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Okay. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Not far enough. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Let's do that this time. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Well, you're just... Man, I should have stepped in between Doomed Kate either way. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Mmm. Yeah, I feel guilty about that one. That's weird. Let's, uh, let's help her out this time. And then leave it there. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, oh, and leave me alone. Okay. Final decision. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do, rent a cop? Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Hey. Sometimes you just gotta do the right thing, you know? No matter the consequences. I say that now. You wait until all these consequences actually catch up with me. Oh, and again, sorry about the dog earlier. He gets a little barky sometimes. But he's a tiny dog, so he has that um, tiny dog syndrome. I'm glad I stepped in that time. 
can't stand to see people being bullied. I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Julia. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Mac. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry, about Zachary. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked mm. to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sucks in Victoria at a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Julia. See you around, Max. What's that? I wonder how long before Samuel will have to repaint that. Hmm. Hey. Oh, Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Friend zone. Check out my new wheels. Cool. <laughs> Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive. I took a sweet shot of Victoria. I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. <laughs> I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. <laughs> Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Rosemary was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of ripping fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't know about this Warren kid to you, but he's got a little, he's got a couple issues, I think. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Uh-oh. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. Uh-oh, this you might go badly. You told the now. I told Answer him the me, truth. bitch. Uh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I know you're new here. But don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescott's own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! Uh -oh. I hate people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Coffee. I'll take a step back. I can call the police. Take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh shit. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me oh. what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, not that whore in the bathroom. Oh. Dang. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Wait, so she didn't see her? Was she just trying to hit the guy with her car? <laughs> I mean, after holding a gun to my head, I probably would, too. 
Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This tame never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. <laughs> I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but... I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. Mm. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Mm. All the Vermont jokes. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Ouch. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on me when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. No sense. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, please. Hmm. I mean, she sort of has a fair point. Let's see if I can kind of rebuild the friendship. Oh, man. Are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific, tiny tools. Word alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Let's see what she did there. <laughs> I like this girl. She's sassy. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step here makes sure of that. I'm gonna close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. My kind of girl. It won't play without any power. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. <laughs> Don't you want music? Mm, there's no power. Ah. Switch on. 
Just look, I still can't use Houston, it. Houston, we have the power, ah. but we need to find a disc to play. Oh, fair enough. Which you would think was like right by the disc player. But no. Those pictures. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Is her dad? This one's. I don't look at everything. What a weirdo. Junk swallows her discs. <laughs> Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets. She does love trouble. I'm not really surprised. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Okay, but I'm just literally looking for you know, in real life at this point, this the girl would be like, Hey, anytime, <laughs> like today, they're right there. We had such a blast drawing this together. Okay, but She has like everything but what I'm looking for. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Yeah. Touch that. Oh, this is a flashback to you. Our super secret closet lair. <laughs> Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. <laughs> Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Hmm. I don't feel grown-up, just more confused as I get older. Especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. <laughs> about me? No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. Can you tell me where your CDs are? Because that would be helpful. Am I just really stupid? Because they're like nowhere in this room. <gasps> oh my gosh! A CD! Hey! Oh, <laughs> luckily. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. I'm gonna so, ask her first. Who is she? Let's just assume things. Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel. 
After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I wasn't happy, Stop. we didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfoot Villain into Los Angeles. No. Uh -huh. So what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Aww. You know, my friend said that this is a bit of um, an emotional roller coaster, this game, and thus far it really is. There's some interesting aspects to this game I really enjoy. Uh -oh. 
replay their messages. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I'm sort of like, I don't want to touch anything. It's not my place. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Right. Pretty forgetful today. <laughs> oh, switch on. Why would that have consequences? It's closed cover. Does that have to do with anything? Nothing. This is so lame. Hmm. I just want tiny tools to Fix my camera. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. I'm wondering, is her stepdad the security guard? Cool, now it's opened. Uh oh. Yes. Uh, hmm. Let's not do that because. Oh no. Let's rewind. There. 
because that didn't say that it was going to have consequences, but I feel like somebody's going to be like, who the hell is lurking through my garage? There's like really nothing in here for her. Oh yeah, that's right, this was food. Hmm. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Hmm. I need something to stand on. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Oh, I will. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Hmm. It's like nothing. Turn on the washing machine? Why would I? Oh, maybe because it will jiggle it. Yeah. Oh. That was very smart, dumbass. You can reach. Should have done that before they fell. <laughs> Rewind. What? It won't rewind. Trailer. Wait, did they fall yet? Oh, okay, good. There we go. Hey. Yahtzee! Turn off. Yes! You have mad skills, Max. Mm -mm. Okay. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Will do. Hmm. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. 
Booyah, you skank. Norm <laughs> is a bitch. <laughs> nice framing, too. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo you brought? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You have saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. Yeah, I'll tell her. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. Hmm. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single bell. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Mm, like who? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drug jackass only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. I swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. <laughs> Friendship. The song fucking rules. Can't dance if you come on. Rock out, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do not believe in gun control? What? Is it grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You're tripping balls. I'm oh, sick not of weed. Disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, 
I can't rewind. It's not weird. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now. Oops. Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. Rent a cop. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. That could have gone worse. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. She's sort of right. I think I gotta do it. Supposed to be able to hide. There was nowhere. I'm not supposed to. None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control. Wait, is that grass? You been talking up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. But if I blame it's Chloe, false. we're not gonna be I'm friends anymore. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? I'm gonna have to. No way, that's not mine. Oh, of course not. I'm sure Chloe gets all the best shit, right? I'm sure she gave you good friend rights. Why don't you get off my crack? Stop taking your war rage on high school girls. You have seen rage, you little. Fuck you, pig. Oh. I. Listen. You asked for that. You know exactly what you're doing. Excuse me? I can already tell from today that you're trouble, Max. I hope this doesn't affect your status at Blackwell. Don't ever come back here. Listen, dipshit, if you ever lay a hand on me again, I'll have your ass in jail. Then you can guard yourself all night. You're the ones who end up in jail. But you only think you're tough and clever. This too shall pass. And clean this pigsty up. I'm sorry, Chloe. I didn't know what to do. Whatever. Everybody bails on me. Even my best friend Max, oh. don't you? So done with everybody in this town. I wish I hadn't even seen you. As if you care. Color me out of here. Oh, shoot. That didn't go as planned. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? You know what? Sometimes you gotta be a friend. Oh, it glitched out. <laughs> Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Oh, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now, please. One second. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? I'm giving you 
We got this, fam. Okay. Move the lamp. One second. My bra is stuck. And then hide. Yes. There we go. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so freaking paranoid. Yeah, calm down. We'll do that to you. We got it this time, fam. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do not believe in gun control? What? <laughs> is it grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stay hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Oh. You know what? She's still gonna be like, but you I'm didn't sorry. help me. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast! You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Yeah, and someday you'll stop hitting women, hopefully. You douche. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real stuff douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway... Let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. Hey. Damn, was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Nope, let's just sneak out the window. Yay, friends again. Even though she got manhandled by an idiot. Path I was on during my nightmare today. Oh, yeah, it was. Well, okay. Well, I think this is where we're gonna end this episode. Um, it's a journey, it really is. Um, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's got so many interesting little side stories. Yeah, I should have helped Chloe. I really like. I feel so bad. And um, it's fun. It's really enjoyable. Um, that last part where the stepdad just slapped the taste out of his stepdaughter's mouth. That was a little, that was intense. Um, I can see what people are saying that it's one hell of a emotional roller coaster. Um, so it's, it's gonna be interesting to see 
how Max's character develops, if at all. So yeah, I'm excited and hopefully I'll be able to bring out episode three. So I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like if you want to see more. Thanks. Bye.